Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am very happy to have you here. Uh, guys, in today's video I was thinking about uh, comparing and reviewing some musky scents from Middle Eastern brands. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I do not vibe with musky scents. I mean, they are not my cup of tea, but with this being said, I can still appreciate a good musky scent, you know, even though I might not wear it, but I appreciate it for the beautiful scent that it has. I have three musky scents. I think they're all from Latafa and Khalis. And that one is Musk Abiyad. Uh, I don't know what brand it is, but I would put it somewhere here. Basically, guys, why I do not like this one is because it smells like a mixture of laundry detergent, hand sanitizer, and uh, the water from the water mixed with chlorine from the pool. It smells extremely synthetic, like extremely synthetic. It has this underlying chlorine vibe to it. I find it very weird. I don't know where it comes from. Okay, so guys, I'm looking at the notes and I, I feel like it's very weird. This is supposed to have uh, Damascus Rose, White Mask, Amber, Vanilla and White Flowers, as well as um, Cedarwood. Mm -mm, no, it, it doesn't smell like that. Guys, this one basically smells like, I said, a little bit of powderiness, a little bit of chlorine vibes. I don't want to smell like this. <laughs> And personally, I would not recommend it because I don't like it. I feel like this is a very cheap smelling mask. I don't know what they've used there, but it smells very cheap, it smells like chlorine. You don't get the rose, you don't get the vanilla, you don't get the cedarwood aspect. You just get powdery vibes. All the palette from hand sanitizer to laundry detergent to uh, chlorine water from the pool. So let's move on to uh, Masca La Rose. Let's see how this one smells. Okay, so right from the start, this one is way better. I like this one way more. The mask here, guys, it's very clean. It's a white mask for sure. It's very clean. It starts off a little bit citrusy, but overall, this uh, this fragrance has the clean uh, aspect all along. You know, it's a little bit sharp in the beginning, guys, but I don't think that it could be bothering to anyone. I think this one smells very similar to a really great musky fragrance that I absolutely love, and that one is by Ahmed Al Maghribi, and it's called Supreme. If you like musky scents, if you like elegant, clean musky scents with a little bit of rose, with a little bit of fruity notes, then you would absolutely love this one. That one, uh, the lasting power of that one is absolutely out of this world. It lasts an entire day, and it's a musky scent, and it lasts an entire day. It projects really well, just like all the scents from Ahmed Al Maghribi that I've tried so far. I would actually really recommend that brand. I want to try more from the brand, but let's get back to this one. It is a very basic scent done very well, in my opinion. Uh, actually, I would recommend this one. So if you're interested in buying this one and you vibe with what I've said so far, then I would actually recommend you to try this one. Okay, as for lasting power, again, I don't know what to tell you. I haven't tested this one on my skin, but if you're interested, I can always like uh, test it and then come back and let you know how long it lasts on my skin. But mind you guys, scent on my skin don't last. So um, keep that in mind. If I tell you that a scent lasts four hours on my skin, on your skin, it might last a little bit more, a little bit less. Just like when I say that a scent lasts 10 hours on my skin, then believe me, that scent lasts a lot. You might get even more than, you know. Mm this is just a basic scent i don't have anything bad to say about it it's of course a little bit linear it doesn't have a lot of depth and a lot of complexity to it but when you're looking for an everyday musky scent i see no problem in opting for this one guys i'm reading the notes on the website and i don't know if the notes listed are right <laughs> or if they send me a different fragrance but here it says let me just tell you here it says that this one has um, cinnamon, it has jasmine, sandalwood, musk, uh, guayac wood, cedarwood, vanilla, amber, and musk. Again, I don't get the woody aspect of it, I have to be very honest, and I don't get spices. To me, guys, this one is just a clean musky scent with a little bit of fruits and a little bit of uh, citrusy notes in the beginning. Stays very clean, uh, mixes really well with my skin chemistry. I have no problem with this one. This is basically a clean, basic mask scent. Now, guys, let's get to the last scent that I will review in today's video. And the scent is Opulent Mask by Latafa. I have to be very honest with you. I was very intrigued by this scent. I was very intrigued uh, for this scent because I've watched the 
add this review on this i would link her channel below and i would link actually her review below i was really curious to see how this one smells and i have to say i like it a lot i really like opulent ones by latafa i'm actually thinking of buying a full bottle of this one because i like it so much and it might be my summer scent so i would actually recommend you to try this one on your skin I really like this scent. Yeah, so right from the start, this one has oud, but the oud here, it's quite fickle. So I'm just letting you know. In the beginning, it's like a weird mix of everything, but like give it a few minutes. If you don't like the opening, don't be scared. Just give it a little bit more time. Just like I would advise you to do with all the Middle Eastern fragrances. So on my skin, guys, I really pick up the oud here, but it's really nice. And it's done in such an interesting way. This one is sweet. This one is a woody, this one is a little bit woody, it has, I can actually smell the lemon, but it's not bothering you. Guys, in my opinion, this one is unisex, women can pull this one off, men can pull this one off, I see no problem with that. This one does smell very Middle Eastern, so you have to like Middle Eastern fragrances in order to like this one, otherwise it will be too much for you. I have to be honest, I like this one way better than I like uh, Opulent Wood, that one is just a no for me personally, uh, but I don't like that one. Now guys. To me, this is more like a summery scent, even though this is not your typical summer scent. But then again, I do not like typical summer scents, you know. So I feel like for me, this would be the perfect summer scent. A bit citrusy, very oudy, um, a little bit of sweetness there, a little bit of lemon. You have like a little bit of everything, but it's nice. I, I really, really like this one. Should you buy this one if you've never tried oudy fragrances? No. Honestly, I don't think you should buy this one if you've never tried Audi fragrances because it might be a little too, bit too much for your nose uh, until your nose gets used to the scent. This is a more um, summary take on Audi in my opinion, you know. I really, really, really like this one. It lasts a lot on my skin. It lasts like I get around six, six yes, like around six hours with this one. Um, it projects really beautifully. I was not expecting to project so well, but it actually projects really well on my skin. I don't have anything bad to say about this one, besides maybe the fact that the out here it's a little bit fickle, but I don't mind it. I honestly prefer an out that's a little bit more fickle than an out, you know, that's medicinal. I do not vibe with medicinal wood. I don't like it. I don't wear it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. From these three that I've showed you so far, the first one uh, was Mask Abiyad. I don't recommend it. It was by Halis. Next one, guys, was uh, Masca La Rose by Latafa. That one, I would recommend it only if you're looking for a very basic, very clean, musky scent, you know, with a little bit of fruits, a little bit of citruses. It's very feminine, it's very basic for summer, for spring, that type of vibe, you know. So if you're looking for that, then I would actually recommend that one. And the last one, Opulent Mask. I feel like this one, like I said, in my opinion, it's not a safe blind buy if you've never tried out your fragrances before. If you have, then I would actually really advise you to try it because you will really like it. I like it a lot. This may be just to my nose and to me, but this gives me like holiday vibes. I don't know. But it's not like your typical um, fruity, tropical holiday fragrance. It's not. It's a really interesting one, but it gives me holiday vibes. So maybe this is why I want to buy a full bottle so bad because I really want to go on holiday. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, so guys, those are my thoughts about those fragrances. If you have any questions about them, of course, leave them down below and I will get back to you. I want to thank you so much for watching and I wish you an amazing day wherever you are. And bye guys. Mwah!